What's going on YouTube? Jason here. Today we have got an unboxing. The package arrived yesterday. Uh, I've been uh, waiting for this watch for at least one month plus. I ordered it uh, in January with the expectation it would arrive in May. However, I received an email saying that things would be delayed until uh, the watch would be shipped out in June. On the last day of June, I sent an email and before you know it, I got a tracking number and FedEx showed up with this package. All right, so just read out from the card. I'm going to spend a bit more time on the packaging today. Thank you and congratulations on your Brew Metric Chronograph watch. You are a special customer and we sincerely appreciate your business. Designer and founder, Jonathan Ferrer. If you want to know a bit more about Jonathan Ferrer, uh, you can check out on the Teddy Balbasol uh, channel. He actually had an interview with Jonathan Ferrer. Interesting chap he is. I bought this watch because I like coffee. As witnessed by this coffee bean, in, co coffee bean symbol there. The packaging is very well made. Again, uh, this is metric chronograph retro inspired timepieces from the past. Brew watch Pro, more uh, sketches, more design plans. All right, I think this is the crown as well as the uh, logo. Okay, uh, a coffee bean, a coffee bean, and at the back, on the bottom, it says printed in the USA. All right, let's just slide it open. More pictures. All right, brew. All right, so let's just slide it aside. What is this? All right, before we see the box, it is my international warranty and more pictures. Okay, so at least this gets it out of the way. The watch is powered by a Seiko VK68A chronograph movement with a battery life of approximately three years, accuracy of last minus 20 uh, seconds per month. All right, so we have got a 60 minute counter cycle, six hours of active seconds and one fifth center chrono second hand and a quick set date function. I'm not sure what the last few means. Okay, the box, let's just throw the box out. All right, wow, the packaging really is well thought of, okay. The last I saw from uh, such thoughtful packaging is uh, from Kurono, which is at a price point about five times more than this. A brew microfiber polishing cloth. Let's just put it in the uh, box. So what will we have for first impressions of this box? Well, this box has uh, some texturing. I think it's a paper box. Let's hope I don't massacre the watch on the way out. Okay, brew. The watch is on a pillow, watch pillow and some packaging. Let's just do a quick first impressions. All right, I am on my lunch break, but I need to pick my daughter up soon. All right, so the watch, is it ticking? Yes, it's ticking. Uh, as of the display, it's on the 19th of some month. Uh, the uh, coffee bean logo, it's barely noticeable on the watch. I won't bore you with the yellow, uh, yellow color section on the uh, chapter ring. It's uh, well covered. It's supposed to be the best time to, uh, it, or rather it's really the time taken for an espresso to be brewed from a uh, machine. Lovely, funky colors. Okay. So uh, the bean is on, the bean is etched on the uh, buckle, twin press trigger release buckle, all right, sign, sign crown, chronograph pushes, wow, it's a, let's just slide it on my wrist, okay, for your reference, my wrist is six and one quarter, let me figure out how am I going to size it later, I probably need to bring it to a shop it looks like it's pins and collars system right my wrist is six and one quarter inch all right wow fits my wrist just 
Nice, wow. It is not an integrated bracelet, although it looks like it. Let me flip to the underside of the watch. Let me just do a slow wrist roll. How many links must I remove? Let me see. Okay, that looks like quite a few. Maybe about four, four links at least based on my other experience. Let's just look on the underside of the watch so that you can have a good look at the uh, bracelet. Okay, so you can remove the bracelet. Okay, let's just put my finger here. Alright. So you can see that uh, you can remove and have it onto a strap although there it will look a bit funny maybe you need to go for something custom made the case back laser edge with the uh, bean with the uh, brew logo the coffee bean and uh, horizontal lines okay so these first impressions just look at the case for a while Okay, the case is brush polish many layers. The crystal, crystal is flat. The crystal is flat. Okay, let's look at it on the other side with the pusher buttons. Yes, not many issues I can see. So let's just press the pushers. Okay, let's hope it works. okay perfect let's just reset it okay goes back so let me zoom in a bit to look at the details of the dial okay all right the the sub dials they are well designed so this is a quartz watch i won't talk more about the movement but uh, more about the design language okay i just love that it's so retro inspired in fact i bought this watch as a fun watch and as you will know towards the end of my uh, last few boxes i've been getting several funky looking watches all right the bracelet the bracelet is uh, is it brush polish yes somewhat brush polish okay so i will do a more thorough review in the coming days but i hope you enjoy this unboxing video i please like share and subscribe i will see you in the next video soon cheers